everyone, welcome to my review of the Swans M10 2.1 speakers. These are pretty popular in the speaker world as a budget solution and I recently picked one up on Amazon for around 100 bucks. Setup was super easy and the speakers had all the components built in for simple plug and play. The design is clean and sleek and build quality is pretty good. So these speakers are meant for near field listening, which in most cases is on a desktop. The satellite speakers are to be placed at ear level or angled towards your ears and the subwoofer is actually supposed to sit in front of you on your desk as opposed to on the floor with most conventional subwoofers, which is why the volume knob is on the sub. Speaking of that volume knob, I've noticed in a lot of other reviews that people complain it to be too bright. I would actually agree with this, and in some cases I had to turn off the speaker when going to bed because there's just no other way to turn off that light. But I don't think it's a deal breaker. The knob itself has some good resistance and feels great to turn, but makes a weird scratching sound like you're rubbing metal against metal or scratching like a tiny chalkboard. Have a listen. cables are non-detachable, but you most likely won't need to mess with them once you've got them set up, though if you're looking to move these speakers around a lot, it might be inconvenient for you. Now the most important part, how does it sound? Overall, very good. It's important for me to say this again, but the satellite speakers need to be pointed at your ears, and the sub needs to be on the table. The closer to you, the better. This made a huge difference in my testing, so if you haven't already done that and you own these, you should do that right now. Out of the box, the speaker sounded trouble heavy, but warmed up a little bit after a burn-in. However, still, after the burn-in period, the trouble overwhelmed the sound signature and the speakers lacked mid-tones, and for some songs, it even gave me a headache to the point where I needed to stop listening. This might not be the case for you, but in my testing, that was what I experienced. For the low end, the sub does a great job producing thick, bumping bass. However, the bass feels just a little bit too boomy and muddy, but may vary based on where you place it. For me, it was just missing the tight, punchy bass that is to be desired out of a subwoofer. As with many subs, this sub comes standard with a knob on the back to control the amount of bass that you're getting. And just in case you're wondering, this knob actually turns perfectly fine without any scratching noises. So, yay. Anyway, enough of me talking, here's a quick sound test for you guys. Overall, the speakers exude exceptional quality and perform very well in its price range. These sound way better than anything I've tested for 100 bucks, and it's an amazing value. Unfortunately, personally, I will be returning these speakers for something more balanced and warmer. However, I encourage you to pick up your own pair of Swans m maybe from Amazon, to test yourself. You may not mind the cons that I mentioned and could be surprised at the sound. However, if you don't like them, just send them back like I'm doing. Amazon has a great return policy. All right, that about wraps it up. And what I really want you guys to get out of this review is that choosing the right speaker for you is all about getting out there and listening to a bunch of speakers in person. Every speaker is different and unique and everybody has their own subjective opinions. Even if a speaker has a five star rating, there might be something that you just don't like about them. So get out there and listen to some speakers. If you want to follow me on my journey to find the perfect desktop speakers, subscribe to the channel. And if you have any suggestions for me, leave a comment. Peace.